We're about a month away before football kicks off on the island. Stony Brook opens their FCS season against Delaware. And on the line is Seawolves head coach Chuck Priori. Coach, I know it's that time of the year again. Thank you for uh, hopping on with us. I know you're a busy man. Let's jump right into it. Let's talk about this upcoming season because you guys are picked to finish towards the bottom of the CAA. But come on, Coach, that's just preseason rankings. So what's the message to your team you're giving them this training camp? And how do you make the doubters wrong? Well, I think the important thing is to believe in yourselves. And I think you just articulated that. Um, it's a preseason poll. We honestly, we had our first team meeting last night. We did not address it. Mm. We didn't feel a need to. Um, guys read social media. They get it. Um, we're going to take care of our business. And we want to be the best team when we take the field tomorrow, August 1st, for our first practice. Yeah, I remember when I was at UMass and we were the Atlantic 10, when we looked at those preseason rankings, I'd look up and be like, I'm scoring on this team. We're going to beat that team. So it was more motivation than anything. Uh, let's talk about the offense. You guys recently named quarterback Casey Case, who transferred from Buffalo as your starter. What have you seen from Casey? And are there high expectations on this Seawolves offense this year? Yeah, I think, you know, we had a couple of changes. We hired a new offensive coordinator. Um who came in, um, spent the last um, few years, University of Maine, done a great job. And then Casey transferred in January, and it was an open job. And um, through the course of winter, spring, and summer workouts, we felt Casey um, had the um, quarterback qualities we were looking for. Number one, he's a great leader, um, real, 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 real bright as a student in the classroom and certainly in the football world. And um, we do think he possesses the skills to um, be productive as a quarterback. And, yeah, there are expectations. If you – once again, the CAA, if, if you cannot put 28 points on the board game to game, you're probably not going to win a lot of football games. Yeah, it's never over in the CAA. And as a wide receiver, I looked at the stats – from the spring game and Casey and the receivers, they guys are in sync. So you, as a receiver, he's got my vote, you know, <laughs> as a uh, starting quarterback. All right, let's look at, uh, I know we're in training camp, or you guys are about to uh, start your official practices for training camp, but let's look ahead at the first game of the season. Delaware comes to the island to kick off the season. So you're talking to the team. I know it's not game week. How do you guys walk off that field 1-0? Well, I think take care of our business. And that started um, last January. Um, you know, we knew Delaware would be our first opponent for quite some time now. Um, you know, Delaware will take care of their business. You know, we've got to get prepared in preseason, as you as a former player know. It's it's sort of about um, building a team culture. It's about building your identity. Um, and I think as long as we take care of our P's and Q's over the course of the next um, three weeks, um, We'll be fine. And then, you know, we'll move into game week preparation versus Delaware. How we walk off the field is um, we just compete every play. And uh, you you said this in the CA, you got to win the fourth quarter. And, yep. you know, we're going to start winning the fourth quarter in our first practice tomorrow. And um, you've got to finish games here. Ooh, coach, if I still had some eligibility left and a good knee, you got me fired up enough to come, uh, come back and play for you guys. Uh, stay healthy this training camp and good luck this season, coach. Thank you.